This is Michael Cole, and on behalf of Taz and myself, we welcome you to SmackDown. And here comes the man who hopes to become number one contender for the World Heavyweight title tonight, the animal, Batista. And Batista's no stranger to the World Heavyweight title. Remember, he's the guy who brought it to SmackDown from Raw. And from the looks of him, ha, I'd say he's ready to get it back right here, right now. You think you know me. Even though this is a non-title match, the champion looks focused and intense, Taz. That's the attitude you got to have in every match when you're the champ. Take it from me, you gotta be on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, if you wanna hold on to that title. A big Southern California welcome to all our SmackDown fans. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside in San Diego. Big shout out to all our great fans in the 619 area Cole here. I love San Diego, baby. Yeah. No kidding, partner. San Diego couldn't be more excited for SmackDown action. And we could be more excited to be here. There's the cover. Can he do it? just told me that I've lost my chance to become the number one contender tonight in my match against you. He said it was because of what I did to that referee last week. But come on, I know you must have been pulling strings behind the scenes. I don't blame you for not wanting to face me at No Way Out, but there's almost two months between now and WrestleMania. You can only run from me for so long, and I guarantee you that the legend killer is going to be in the WrestleMania main event, one way or another. This was supposed to have been a number one contender match for Randy Orton tonight, Taz, but his behavior last week caused Teddy Long to name Batista the number one contender for No Way Out. Yeah, Orton crossed the line last week, no doubt. But I wonder if the champ had anything to do with this. But maybe, just maybe, he doesn't want to fix Orton. I highly doubt that, Taz. He still has to put the title on the line regardless of his opponent. The only person who has got the plan is himself. You think you know me? And the opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 241 pounds. Good evening, and welcome to SmackDown, coming to you tonight from Atlanta, Georgia. Hot Lana is fired up tonight, Cole. No doubt about it, baby, and I'm just as pumped up as this sellout crowd. With good reason, Taz. You and I both know what's coming, and these fans are definitely getting their money's worth tonight. Whew. 
Man, you talk about superstars and we ain't got an ounce of quit in them, huh? You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Look, Cole, this ain't ballet. You gotta go in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. You'd know that if you actually stepped in between the ropes. I don't have to have been in a match to realize that jeopardizing my future for the sake of one match is incredibly short-sighted. Cole, I swear, I'm gonna replace you with someone who actually knows what they're talking about. Maybe Colina. He might be a little tough to understand sometimes, but at least he knows what it's like to wrestle a match. Well, it looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move, in my opinion. Well, come on. You just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover, neither. You gotta stay on them and wear them down. But what about picking your spot? If you try to execute a bad behind move just because you want to stay on offense, that could have a disastrous result. I'll tell you what, Paul. Let me talk about what it's like to be in a match like this, and you can come up what it's like to whiten your teeth. Deal? His opponent is groggy, and he's making the most of it. Execution! Huge move there! He can get the pin right here! shape the champ is in next week. Hey, Batista, what the hell was that last week? Last week? Oh, you mean when I came down to the ring to save you from getting worked over by Randy Orton? Yeah, and you sure took your time doing it. Wow, I guess that's gratitude for you. Listen, it's not like it's my job to keep you from getting your ass kicked. If you're dumb enough to turn your back on a guy like Orton, you deserve what you get. Besides, it's not like Orton's making my job at No Way Out any tougher. Oh, so that's why you took your sweet time getting into the ring. You wanted to get an advantage in our match at No Way Out. Look, man, I didn't need to come out last week at all. And I definitely don't need an advantage. From now on, you can fight your own battles, champ. Some heated words exchanged there between the champion and the number one contender.
You think you're money. This match doesn't have anything to do with the World Anyweight title situation he has, but I wouldn't be surprised if Randy Orton made another appearance where he's not welcome. Normally I'd say you just be a paranoid boy, but at the last I got to agree with you. Just keep your eyes on the match though. If your play-by-play stuff is any more than it normally does, I just might have to sit next to good old Dale. Fuck you! My name is Finley, and I love to fight. And the opponent, from Belfast, Ireland, weighing in at 235 pounds, Finley! Good evening to our fans from Vancouver, British Columbia. Michael Cole and Taz at ringside, and what a show we've got for you tonight. Hey, eh, partner? <laughs> hey, Cole, it's pretty funny you said, hey. You know, like Canadians, they always go, hey. You know, hey. What can I say, Taz? The enthusiasm of these Vancouver fans is contagious. I can't remember the last time yeah. I saw a crowd this pumped up in SmackDown action. Nice reversal. What a counter that was! He anticipated that move perfectly! It's so great seeing these athletes compete here tonight. I had a feeling they were going to warm up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, any time you throw these kind of combustible elements into a match, Guaranteed to get a hell of a show. And that's exactly what we're seeing here tonight. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Oh, come on, bro. No, you should let me train you. You could be Cruiserweight Champion in like a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Duh. They're just training people to go to war. I train them to go to the Well, thanks, but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announce. I think he's through playing around! That's no mistake, Paul. What a wicked execution. He's going for the cover, Cole. You think you know me? Well, what do you know? Looks like you were being paranoid after all. Well, who did you show face after all? That's the way Vicky's at. He's not paranoid after all. Why did that happen? Yeah, you know, Vicky the Great. The way you are is certainly very psyched on the world anyway, Jim. Randy Orton might not be in the World Heavyweight title picture at the moment, Taz, but you'd never know it by looking at some of the matches he's had recently. That's one of the best ways that you get a title opportunity. If you can prove that you can hang with the champ and maybe get a little heat on him, it's only a matter of time before you're gonna be getting a shot at the title. And Orton knows that better than anybody. his attitude is going into this match, Taz. Well, obviously, he faces the champ on Sunday for the title. So he's looking to feel that a little bit here tonight. Orton's the 
a wild card, though. He's not exactly friendly with Batista, but you got to figure he's done him some favors in harassing the champ. You think you know me. And here comes the man who puts the World Heavyweight title on the line against the Animal Batista this Sunday at No Way Out. Yeah, it's kind of funny to think about it, but this might be the last time we see him on SmackDown with the World Heavyweight title. If he's going to keep that title, he's going to need to get the No Way Out in one piece. And that means he's going to have to focus on both his opponents tonight, as tempted as he may be to go right after Randy Orton. I'm Michael Cole alongside Taz, and we welcome you to Portland, Oregon. It's been a long time since we've come to Portland, and it's great to be back. No doubt, no doubt, Cole. Tonight, the Rose City's going to get its face hot, and I can't wait. And neither can these fans. We better get started, or we might have a riot on our hands. Superstars face off. You're not going to hear me say this much, Cole, but I definitely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice, long feud. I don't know how nice it is, but there are certainly some issues between these superstars, and I think this match might only exasperate them. Please, Cole, watch your legs, will you? It's a family show. I said exasperate. Not, oh, never mind. Trust me, you can cut me. He's going for the pin, Cole. That was a textbook reversal. Come on, ref. That should have been a disqualification right there. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, Cole, but it's not. It's not. I think he's through playing around. That's an understatement, Cole. What a wicked education. That's the way you do it. Nothing like the sight of your own blood to take the... He can pin his opponent right here. One, two, three. The champ is taking out the trash. So long, Randy. Whoa! Looks like we had a little preview of No Way Out going on here. Oh my god! RKO! RKO! That was a serious tactical error on the part of the champ, Cole. Just cause you toss a guy out of the ring doesn't mean, you know, he's done for good. And did you notice, Taz? Batista didn't do a damn thing to stop that RKO. And why should he, Cole? He warned the champ weeks ago that he was going to have to fight his own battles. Are you okay? Stay right there. Don't move. Help! Somebody help! He's hurt! Player, it's theater alone. I think you're making a big mistake by going ahead with this match after that attack. Now, there ain't a superstar in the whole locker room who'd hold it against you if you forfeited the title tonight. You've got the whole rest of your career to consider. Now, if you're going to do this, you better do it smart and be careful out there. You're too valuable to smack down to suffer a career-ending injury tonight. Good luck, champ.
like things just got a little easier for Batista in this match, Jazz. After that ambush earlier tonight, I can't believe that the champion's going ahead with this title defense. Me neither, Paul. And we still don't know who hit the champ. Who knows? Maybe Batista does. Easy, partner. You can get yourself in a lot of trouble saying things like that without being able to back them up. You think you know me? I've got to get the champ back for going ahead with this match, but he's risking a lot. You have to wonder if it's the best move of his career. Yeah, but what's your turn? The fourth of the title of Monkey Full WrestleMania? But the figure he's bad, no doubt. But that's a real career ender right there. down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move, in my opinion. Well, come on. You just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover, neither. You gotta stay on him and wear him down. Well, what about picking your spot? If you try to execute a badly timed move just because you want to stay on offense, that can have a disastrous result. I'll tell you what, Paul. Let me talk about what it's like to be in a match like this and you can cover what it's like to whiten the teeth. Deal? He dodged that bullet. Hey, the ref's got a tough job. I mean, trying to keep these superstars on the up and up, that's hard. Well, it's easier to get some superstars to play by the rules than others. Hey, you know what, Cole? If you're gonna get on your high horse again and give us another lecture about playing the ref, I swear to God, I'm gonna throw up. Is it so wrong to ask a superstar to play by the rules, Taz? That doesn't seem to be so unreasonable to me. That's because you never competed in a match, Cole. If you did, you'd know that you gotta do whatever it takes to win. And if that means bending the rules a bit, well then, that's just the way to cook it crumbles. Man, this, I'll tell you what, man, this one's just turned into a fight. Pure and simple. We knew it was gonna be intense. We knew it was gonna be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I gotta admit, it kinda took me by surprise, Cole. That don't happen too often. That's an understatement. You've been in hundreds of matches in your career. We both called hundreds more. We usually have a pretty good idea of what to expect, but not this time. I guess it just goes to show you, Cole, like they say, anything can happen here in the WWE. Man, you just can't put anything over on these fans. You sure can. They see everything, and they'll let you know about it. Oh! Man, this, that's the way you do it. Nothing like the sight of your own blood to take the fight right out of you. I hope this is over soon. No matter how many times I see this, I just can't get used to it. What are you getting a little squeamish, Cole? Come on, what do you think this is? Badminton? Here he goes. He's going for it. And he You think you know me? What a match! The champion overcame that backstage assault and went on to defeat the animal Batista and retain the World Heavyweight title. That's a lot of fire and a lot of fun right there, Cole. That's the true champion for me. And you know what else that means for the champion? 